We have a wide range of textiles in the museum, such as small lace doilies, military uniforms, tapa, dresses, kodawai, kimono, and quilts, just to name a few. Our textiles are made up of a variety of materials, so how we care for them can vary. Silks can shatter, PVC can leach sticky polymers, and all colours can fade if kept in harsh lighting or direct sunlight. For example, your wedding dress would be different from another in that it might be primarily cotton lace, while another might be silk chiffon. We are, however, able to give you some general tips. When handling your textile, make sure you have clean, dry hands or wear tight-fitting, lid-free gloves. Before handling, beware of jewellery, think about your rings and necklaces and take off anything dangling that might catch. For storage, pick places that are cool, dry and out of direct sunlight. Avoid cupboards that back onto external walls or places like garages and attics where temperature and humidity can fluctuate. High humidity can lead to mold growth. A healthy home is also healthy for your treasures. Around 20 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity is a gold standard to keep most things safe. Many types of textiles are also the favorite foods of insect larvae. For example, clothes moths and carpet beetles can wreak havoc on our treasured pieces. And common signs of pests would be small holes with irregular edges and dried breadcrumb-like powder or clumps. In our next Keep Safe video, we'll give you more detailed information on how to store flat textiles such as quilts, runners, embroideries, and flags.